Hi, welcome to another episode of Hot Takes. Do you remember the lie that was told about how electric cars were going to save the world and how going electric was a huge boost because it wasn't costing you as much, it was cheaper to run? Well, that lie is now exposed. From next year, from April next year, electric car owners are going to be paying VED, uh, you know, car tax, basically. Uh, for small cars, £190. If you've got a van, £355. So much for saving the planet. We always knew this would happen, of course. Once there was that tipping point of the number of people buying electric cars, which started eating into the vehicle excise duty totals, they knew they'd have to start charging them. And from next year, you're starting to be charged. And that's eating into any savings that you're going to make by buying an electric car. After all, the cost of buying them is about 30% more than the cost of buying an ICE engine of the same model. Um, and of course, where they say, oh, well, yes, but running it's cheaper. Yeah, you're still paying for the electricity. Um, and so, you know, you have a look at that, the differential. And apparently it takes about 11 years for a, a car to pay itself off in terms of uh, the, the difference between the costs. Uh, there's also the problem with insurances now. Um, electric cars are starting to become very expensive to insure because of the, 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 the concerns about fire and also replacements. And so you have that. You can't even get insurance on the batteries anymore because they're so horrendously expensive that the cost of insuring your batteries, well, you could buy a second car, second hand for that. Uh, I mean, a new battery kit could cost you twenty, thirty thousand pounds depending on the model, and so it's it's now automatically a dying model. It, it's a dying prospect, and the idea of having to pay three hundred and fifty-five pound tax on top—it's a joke. I I have a small car. I have got one of. I got we got several cars in the family, here. so we got we've got a. A little um, Alfa, a little Alfa Romeo Giulietta, back when Alfa were built by Ferrari. Nice, tight. Uh, getting on a bit, but £30 a year car tax. Unbelievable, isn't it? I'm paying less car tax in my ICE than they're paying in their electric cars. And my repairs are cheaper. And I don't have to worry about um, the dropping in the value because it was a cheap car to begin with. I could throw it away and I'd still only lose 800 quid. That's all I paid for it. Them, it's, they lose £10,000 driving it off the forecourt. It's a joke, isn't it? And you can't resell them, the electric cars, because they are so worthless. Another cost, of course, involved in running an electric car against an ice. Ice wins every time. And, of course, when you look at all those children panning in the cobalt mines and you're thinking... That's a bit unethical too, isn't it? And then all those dirty cobalt lakes. Hmm, that's not good for the environment. Makes you wonder, doesn't it? Why are they pushing electric cars onto a country that does not have a grid that can run them? If every car in Britain was electric tomorrow, the grid would collapse. We've got a 100-year-old, 120-year-old electric grid that has taken generations to build to where it is now. And they need to change that within... 10 year period the cost is billions anywhere between 50 to 200 billion pounds money that this government doesn't have it's already admitting it's 20 billion in the hole it's a joke isn't it these people haven't got a clue and yet they keep pushing the bullshit about the benefits of electric cars and still no one has ever said what they're going to do with all the petrol because you're still going to be drilling for oil. Not one gallon of oil less will be drilled because we need the oil for everything. But what you are going to end up with is all this petrol that's not being used. What are they going to do with it? Nobody knows. Anyway, there you go. If you've got an electric car, you're screwed from next year. You're paying car tax. Well done. Thanks a lot. Bye.